Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to another TSF Reviews. Joining me today is the lovely Asad Shams. Uh, <laughs> this is actually the first time that we are doing a review together. Otherwise, you're just teamed up oh, with yeah. different people. Uh, this is this exactly. is the first time after Zack Snyder's Justice League, but then again, we were like six people on that review, so there was that. But it's good this to see you, my first friend. Review. How are you? Yes, I am good. I'm good. It's been a while. It's the first review you and I are doing together, and which is interesting because you and I have very interesting views to share most of the time. And I'm surprised we waited this long to get here. I know, I know, and it's surprising that how like none of the major pictures did that, and it's a short movie that has brought us together. In that sense, yes. so yeah. Speaking With of the short said, movie, yes, Arc Exodus, man, gonna, Arc Exodus, Arc Exodus, Arc Exodus. That was quite a ride, I have to say. I mean, um, look, I'm a huge fan of Johnny Young Bosch, uh, being an uh, aspiring, or I would even go as far as to say amateur voice actor. Johnny Young Bosch has been like one of my one of my inspirations, like one of the many many people who inspire me to become a voice actor, and when I learned about this project, I was like, damn, I, I really want to support this guy and everything. So, uh, and then I see the short film and usually short films take me out completely. You know me, by the way, like, mm-hmm. but this one, this one was really good. This one was like, you know, it, it keeps the hook in you. So yeah, let's, let's go, let's, let's uh, go from the start. Like, you know, what were the things that you really liked about this? So Knowing a little bit of the background of this movie, obviously, it's like, I have to say, I am very surprised by like how short and independent movies don't typically have this good cinematography, nor do they have this good special effects, right? Yeah. And it was just like a visual treat, as well as like like someone who's a fan of good cinematography in movies, that was just very, very, very well directed and everything. Johnny, I mean... I've Mike's like I don't know we've had different experiences with Johnny. Uh, Johnny for me will always be Adam from Power Rangers, <laughs> right? So I bet right, you could hear that up, all the time when Johnny was speaking all, the, all that time. Like I just remember his like when he came back in um, Once a Ranger in Operation Overdrive. Like that was that was what I saw him as the entire time. And mm. despite that, I mean it, he did a great job. Um, I don't know if he's directed a lot of other stuff but this was pretty well directed in my opinion like it looked it looked good cinema the cinema shots like the camera shots were all great the uh, it was just an overall visually pleasing movie in my opinion what do you have to say about that and what's more interesting is johnny revealed that he was like you know he actually learned vfx for that like you know in lockdown and it's interesting because vfx is one thing, if you don't get it right, even the most amateur person is going to catch that, especially when you're exposed to so many uh, amazing visual effects. So anything that is just less than par, it just sticks out like this. Exactly. But here, I wouldn't say it was industry grade, but for for one person budget, it, it's it's really amazing, uh, like the VFX work that is, that is being done. And furthermore, which oh, the thing that I really liked was you didn't need to go in a flashback or any of the sort to just explain what's happening in the world and like how the story progresses, you get to realize, okay, there's a thing called structure and they're ensuring that people's doppelgangers from the par- parallel universe, they don't come mm-hmm. here and, you know, because their world is dying and everything. And of course, we're since we're doing spoilers anyway, so lo and behold, Johnny's character, Jacob, is also one of them, but he's been brainwashed. Yep. But... I do have one re- reservation on that, but we'll come to that later. And another thing that I really liked was uh, like, you know, the overall mood of, of, of the movie. There was like the music just, just like it, it hit on the spot right there. So I agree. But yeah, we come to the, uh, uh, to the, I would say not so liked part about the review, which is the things that we, that you didn't, that you didn't like. And Johnny, if you're watching this, Really sorry, but we have to be critical. So <laughs> I do hope he watches this, by the way. So yeah, Same. go on. Um, before we go into um, stuff that we don't like, I just want to comment again on the visual effects. Like the visual effects were, I agree with you, on uh, were great, were pretty great for a fan film. And they're on par with like, I mean, whenever I watched it, I kind of felt like, I don't know if you've seen the other 
fan series, the Power Ranger one called Power Rangers Unworthy. So it's like very similar styles, like set styles and everything. So those visual effects really impressed me. They're like on par with that, better than that, as a matter of fact. But it's like a bat, on bat in the, the sun, bat in the sun production or something. Exactly, like exactly. Yeah. Like really great stuff, really great stuff. I'm really impressed. Um, now to the stuff we didn't like. Um, sorry, Johnny, uh, love you. Uh, but um, my major point, the kind of thing that I didn't like is that you kind of see the whole, you know, oh, the organization I'm working for is evil trope coming. Like it's... Yeah, it doesn't catch you off guard. Like, you're like... Yeah, it's like... It, there's a thing in your peripheral about it. Like, okay, this could happen. This could happen. But when it comes, it doesn't exactly surprise you per se. But... Like, yeah. It's a trope in, like, gunslinging sci-fi fantasy shows. Like, um, Final Fantasy Spirits Within, right? So, like, that was a oh, like, yeah. troop, trooper, trooper show uh, movie, right? So it's like, oh, we're troopers. We have, we're here digging for some minerals and stuff. Oh, we found spirits. Oh, wait, we know we found spirits. We're killing these spirits. Wait, the corporation we're working for is the bad guy this whole, whole time. Now we need to stop them. So that's kind of like the whole, uh, that was the feeling I got like towards the end of this movie. Like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that trope. Like that's always there in a sci-fi fantasy movie. But I like that how it wasn't like totally explained. It's like all emotions and like, like Johnny looks at the back and he sees these guys holding guns and he just kind of pieces it together. Okay, okay, I'm in this situation. These guys have a feeling like, I like how it's handled in this, but I just didn't like that. That was the trope like we were going with. True. True. It's kind of like, um, uh, like not to exactly refute to your point, but it's more like, you know, we've mm-hmm. just been exposed to so many stories that everything pretty much is a trope and like we can see it coming yep. but again we're a fan of like okay how it's told like we are we have mm-hmm. all seen this particular trope uh play out in so many different levels like you know the organization you're working for suddenly you're against that organization i mean john wick 4 pretty much is kind of go- gonna be like that uh because you're working against the organization that you mm-hmm. you pretty much worked with and similarly um another thing that just uh I wouldn't say take, it took me out or something because I had to keep reminding myself that it's an indie production. It's uh, mm-hmm. not going to be a big budget. Um, it's just that some of the actors, uh, they were acting really good. Like, for example, of course, Johnny, yeah. hands down. No, uh, Jason, Jason Varney, who was, I believe the villain's name was Graham. He was re- doing really yep. good. And there was another, yeah. I'm, I'm forgetting the name of the actress who was there. So those three were doing really good. But that's the thing. When you have really, really good actors doing really good stuff, the people who are Others performing bail. below... Yeah, exactly. You yeah. see that difference right there. Like, uh, yes. the person, forgetting what's the uh, the coyote, I, I believe. That's the name of the of the Japanese person who is, who's there. The coyote. And then there's the other scientist. And then there's um, another, uh, another female scientist. So you sort of see they're like, you know, it, it, it's not like that they have much to do. But it's kind of like, you know, whatever scene that they have to play out, uh, it's just like, you know. It's it's more obvious in that scene. Like, let, that you know, the scene where he uh, kind of says, oh, I have two left feet. And he gets like, the scanner done from that scientist. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah it's yeah. like, that's where I found it to be the most obvious. Like Johnny's expressions, his, the way he talks, everything on point. And then this guy has like the most bland delivery of most that dialogue. Blank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Right? I, but I, like, again, we're not actors. We're but as viewers, yeah. we're catching that. So just imagine, like, you know. Uh, but to be to be fair, later on when the scene where him and Johnny are like next to the car and they're having that little dialogue, he is better there. It's just that this one particular scene, it really stood out. Okay, okay, yeah, like this guy isn't as good doing as good a job as everybody else is doing but yeah. um it's like that that's like a common thing right so like if you in, in fan films as well like in a lot of fan productions you kind of have that where you have some people acting really well and everybody else kind of obviously kind of just pales in comparison true that true that and it's it's kind of like an equilibrium that you have to work with but yep. um Another thing that I sort of, um, again, this is just me nitpicking just for the sake of being the critic here. Um, the, um, the other, the, the, 
the other character, the um, you know, there wasn't actually an explanation of what that uh, the person in the bar, uh, sorry, not in the bar, in the cafe. The mm-hmm. uh, I'm forgetting her name right now, but her relationship to Jacob wasn't exactly specified. Like at first, hey, you hey. think like, okay, it's just like some girl who's just interested in him, and the next second we see them being. A bit more involved than than it was needed, but then again, I'm just nitpicking in the in the story. Like, yeah, all right, we weren't so, exactly clear on that. So actually, I was actually I don't know if it was just a viewer perception difference, but I was actually more cleared up on that because obviously, when she says, "Yeah, oh, I know how you like your coffee," and he, he says, "Oh, I want it black," but she still brings it to him with all that pumps of hazelnut because she mm-hmm. like that's just kind of a way of showing it. Okay, he more she more intimately knows what he actually wants than how Fair everything point. is going and Fair then point. and then later on they're sitting in the house and they're talking about or remember when we started going out you started talking about this so like first of all started yeah. going out kind of clarifies that yes that they are in a relationship together so i don't know if um i don't know why i must have picked that up uh because i kind of note these things a lot so yeah. i picked up on that so um yeah so the relationship was in my opinion was a bit more it was it was pretty clearly was, defined okay i might have missed out on this i might have missed her yeah i might have missed out on this but overall i think it it's a very good experience like you know if you want to like i don't know start watching uh, short films like if somebody came to me like hey what's a short film you would recommend arc exodus would be the first one that i would go for because it's memorable the that's the, that's the main thing it's memorable you don't forget it right right away after you've seen it you're like yeah this happened the plot's simple nothing too complicated but it's a visual treat like you said like i agree with you um the plot stays with you the the thing is the character uh, apart from the main characters everybody else kind of fades into your mind like yeah the, pretty much yeah but like the main characters like jacob graham these guys stay in your mind that whole interaction the f- mm-hmm. fight choreography man the fight choreography is so great i can't believe we went the whole review without talking about the fight choreography i know i know but we we are dedicating a separate 5 minutes to that <laughs> like you the really fight see fight choreography was so good it was insane like you really see like you know uh, i've seen of course i've seen power rangers and everything and i know um johnny is also a stunt person as well but yeah. for him to bring all of those skills over to a short film and just like sort of like it's kind of like a dance isn't it like you know if the stunt if the other stunt people are not performing that well it's just it just falls flat on his face even if you're really good but the entire stunt team was just so good with everything that it's just like wow amazing amazing yep so w- Uh, any any uh, another thing that i really liked was that i sort of noticed i don't know i could be wrong i could be wrong but i sort of noticed like you know they were probably using the other actors as like you know the 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 mop guy, the mop guys and everything because i sort of yeah, yeah. noticed a few of them like you know their their masks were a little bit dislodged and i'm like huh and that's a that's a clever trick like you know you give that perception like there are many people but you know yep. your, your camera panning is just so ex- excellent that you know it's pretty much the same person being beat up but you know you just think it's the illusion that's created that it's a different person yes it, that's like a standard uh you know filming trick but like it i mean oh, this movie is just an experience honestly and i honestly yeah. I agree with you on the point like if I would have to if somebody came up to me and said hey do you have an, I have like an hour to kill I have like 40 minutes to kill what can I watch and I was just like I just go oh arc exodus like arc here exodus. I'll give you a link right like just uh watch just arc watch exodus this. it's yeah it's good it's great stuff yeah. right and I think the rest of the team should definitely watch it yeah I don't we'll, think we'll actually should believe them into it Well, actually it's an injustice <laughs> it's an injustice that only you and me have seen it <laughs> uh, it's just that like you know we we've been fans of johnny as well so there is oh, yeah. so is, we just wanted to support the guy but yeah so moving on uh, we move to the last part which is the rating so what is your rating my good sir um i actually love the movie um but to avoid coming off as biased because i love johnny young bosch i'm going to kind of take a little bit lower than i would have and say 8.5 out of 8.5. 10 Okay. I'll actually go and give it like a 9 because all, solely because it was way more engaging than 
than I sort of anticipated it to be. I was just like, yeah, it's just going to be an, another one of those short movies that we, you know, the fan films that we see, but it, it actually had emotional weight to it. So I would give it a note. So yeah. aggregate, our score comes out to be like, like 8.75. 8. 8. We'll round it let's, off. Let's round up to nine. Round it yeah, off to nine. Let's round it off to nine. But yeah, that's pretty much, I, I guess that's pretty much it that we have to talk about in this review. So if you like our Exodus as much as we did, do uh, do let us know. A, do let us know in the comments and drop a like on and our give Johnny well. some love. Yeah, he, give Johnny some love. love. The guy yeah. deserves a lot of love, definitely. But yeah, with that, we'll be signing off and keep each other safe. Have a good day. Take care. Right. Signing off until next time. Bye. Yeah.